Okay, I think we're live. I out there in Google Plus land, we've had some pretty interesting stuff just happen or just become more obvious to us that the Google Plus page, which in my mind has been sort of a fading element, is now full of power. It now has capability that it never had before. And in my mind, it's phenomenal, it's great, and we want to make sure we don't abuse it. So let's talk about what it is, why you care, and why it matters to you and your business. In the past, we had profiles and we had pages, and then they introduced communities where all of these things could kind of come together and do some neat stuff. They could interact with each other. Prior to the community, a profile could communicate with a page, but a page could not communicate back with the profile unless the profile and the page had a connection and that was initiated by the profile. In other words, a person had to go circle the page, say that I want to be communicated to by the page first and then the page could communicate back and forth with the profile. That was fine. What happened recently, like last night, they rolled out the capability for a page that is not yet circled by the profile to actually reach out, add a comment, put a plus one, and even share the post of a person or a profile, even if that person had not yet circled the page. That is massively big because it brings equality to the page. The page, which might be for a lower end, or not lower end, a smaller business like me. You know, nobody knows who I am out there in the real world. I could have multiple business names, different pages, and those now can interact with people just as if they were a normal person. So if I have a video search engine optimization business, which I do, called Video SEO, or Video SEO business called Video Leads Online, that was something that I sort of backed away from because it just didn't work for me on inside Google+. But now it can. And so I'm going to reevaluate, you know, what I do inside Google Plus with that. Let's take a look at that inside, see how it looks, see how it works. And I've got some th three great examples to walk you through so you can see the process. I'm going to try to make this quick. So I'm going to do a screen share and bring you into Google Plus. So what we've got right here, I'm going to make sure I can see it clearly. We are on Ronnie Bincer. There's my big old icon. This is me as a profile. Okay, so we're going to take a look at Ronnie Bincer as a profile, then me as a page, and then me as another page, so we can see how they all interact with someone else. So let's do this. I'm going to switch over here, and what we've got here, this is the person that discovered this and helped me discover it last night, Nicole Murphy. She has various businesses, and one is herself as a person, a profile, and another is herself as a page. I am wanting to interact with her as a person. That's what we're talking about. Me interacting with her as a person. Right now, this is Ronnie Bincer looking at Nicole Murphy on Google+. And I'm going to mouse over where it says her name. You'll note there's a little double-pointing arrow that says, you are in Nicole Murphy's circles too. So I've circled her. She circled me. We can interact. Okay, moving on. This is a different view of Nicole Murphy. This is me, if you look in the upper right corner, me as a page, which happens to be called Making Google Plus Work. That is also connected to Nicole. And I can see that in a couple of ways. One, I can see right here, it says I'm in two, she's in two of my circles. In other words, I've been able to connect. She either circled me first, which is really what happened, and then I circled her back. And that's me as a page. An indicator is in the upper left corner. I am also in Nicole Murphy's circles too. So both of these scenarios, Ronnie Bincer and Making Google Plus Work, are both connected fully with Nicole Murphy. Now we get to the third use case, which is Ronnie Bincer pretending to be a dog, the video SEO hound. Victor, the video SEO hound. That's a page inside Google Plus. It is not fully connected to Nicole Murphy. We know that because there's no little double pointing arrow right by her name. And you see where it says add to circles? This is saying Nicole Murphy needs to add you, Video Leads Online, the page, to a circle before I can add her back. And that's not changed. What has changed is the ability to interact. So let's start back over again. Ronnie Bincer, which is where we are right now, I can see posts that are shared with me. I can interact with those posts. 
just like you would expect because I'm a person to a person. Now there are some limitations that are changing now because of community, so let's just talk about that for a second. There's a community that Nicole is part of called G Plus Broadcasters. I also happen to be part of that same community, therefore when she posted this in that community, I can plus one it, I can reshare it because it's a public community, I think, <laughs> I have to check on that, I think it is, and right here, I can comment on it, and I'm going to say, I'm going to reply to her and say, cool stuff, cool stuff, Nicole, and then I can hit post comment. And that added it in. I can hit plus the post. It updated it so you can see that basically I can interact with that. Okay, that's inside a community. Scrolling down the list past some limited posts to this one, which is 1028 last night. Um, this was the sort of the big announcement for us. So let's scroll down. This one right here shows that I've already plus one it. And I've probably, yep, I've already shared it. And here's some comments. So I can comment on it. I can plus one it. I can share it. Full rights, in essence. Let's move over to the next level. This is making Google Plus works. This is me as a page that is connected with Nicole. So let's see what we've got options here. This same post, which is to the G Plus Broadcasters community, is sort of off limits for me. I can plus one it, I think. Let's try it. Yeah, I can plus one it but I can't comment on it. Um, I guess I could share it, let's see. Yeah, looks like I could share it. Uh, but it is not available for me to comment on it because it's part of a community inside Google Plus called G Plus Broadcasters that I do not belong to as the page making Google Plus work. Okay, moving on. Scrolling down the list, here's that same post, 1028 last night. Um, I, as you'll see here, can add a comment. It shows my logo, the logo of my page. I can add a comment. Great post, Nicole, and hit post comment. It put it in there, and this is capabilities that we've had for a while. In other words, Nicole and I, as the page, were connected. Therefore, she gave me permission, in essence, to make comments on her posts. I can plus one it as a page, I can share it as a page. So I'll click that, you'll see it comes up and I can share. Now, the third scenario, this is the new stuff that happened last night, basically. Again, reminder, I'm in here as video leads online, the little dog icon. It is a page that has not connected fully with Nicole. Uh, I'll have the same issues with the community, for sure, in other words, I can't add any comments. I could plus one in it, so let's try it. Sure, there we go. Um, it says I can share it, and I'm pretty sure that's because this is a public community post, so I'm going to cancel that. Let's scroll down. Here's that same post yesterday, 10.28 p.m. Here's where we see the big, 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 big difference. In the past, this account, Video Leads Online, was not allowed to add a comment, but as you see, I did already. It says, woof, because it's a dog. This is Ronnie, and I'm going to just add another one just so you can watch it live. This is super cool with a little smiley, and then post it. So it lets me, as a page that is not yet circled by Nicole, interact with Nicole, and if I do this responsibly, she will get interested in me as a page and maybe add me to her circles, and I'll be more fully connected. But this is allowing me to do some stuff we were never able to do before, which is very, very exciting to me. However, where's my share? I can't share right now. Does that mean I can't share? No. It just means that outside right now, I don't have a share option. However, I'm guessing this will either be coming soon, or here's the trick to get around it, at least what I do. I can go to this original post of hers. Actually, this is her as a, sorry, this might be a little confusing. This is her as a person sharing a post as a page. So she could, I could do that before. In other words, I could jump over to her post using this, originally shared with this post. I could click on that, and a page could always share another page's stuff. 
The key is the ability for a page to share a person's stuff that has not yet been, if the person hasn't connected properly to the page. So let me find, I'm going to find something. All right, here's Nicole sharing a post yesterday that's a public post that I, again, don't have a share option for. Not here. But Nicole shared it publicly, so I'm going to go to the timestamp right here where it says yesterday. I'm going to click on that. That will transport me to the post standing all by itself. It is still shared by Nicole Murphy. Shared it this time. It's a public post. I am still in the account that is called Video Leads Online. There's no connection between me and Nicole at all. And I can drop down and look. I can share the post. So that's the sort of the trick. If I need to and want to interact as a page, I'm going to turn off the screen share for a second. If I need to or want to interact as a page with someone who has not yet circled me, a profile, and I want to show them some love, in essence, I want to share their content because I think it's valuable. I can do that, but I have to go to the timestamp of their post. Click on the timestamp, brings me to the original post, then I can hit the share button. But otherwise, and then above and then beyond that, we have this cool new ability to plus one it, to comment on it, which to me is very, very important, and then we can share it. So this is brand new. This allows a page, which is not a big name page, to have some visibility inside Google+. Plus and not just in the communities, which is kind of cool that they did that recently, but now we can do it outside in the regular stream of Google+. So please use this responsibly. Don't start spamming people as a page. Interact with them appropriately. If they are talking about something where you bring in knowledge or value, then as the page, go ahead and do that. That'll allow you to introduce yourself, in essence, as a page, and then potentially get a new customer or a new client, or someone that's interested in what you're doing as a page. This is cool stuff. All right, so click up there, add me to your circles, Ronnie Bencer. I'll also have a subscription button that you can click on there in a minute after I get all this stuff juiced up after the video is over. Thanks for watching. I hope this made sense. Let me know in the comments. Thumbs up, plus one, reshare, do all that great stuff. We'll see you later.